Welcome back to Recursed with Brian. I spent a little bit of time off camera trying to find some more paradoxes and also review some puzzles from the last tapestry that I hadn't been able to solve before. I took a break for a couple of days before I did this, and I think once again the break helped because I just came back with kind of a better understanding of cauldron puzzles, I think. I'm not even sure this is like a better understanding, it was just kind of like solidifying what I already knew about them. But let's come back and take a look at this one, Triplet. Which basically, let's see, there's a key over there. And that's the place that we need to get to. And then over on this side... Right, that's bringing us to the same places. So we have an extra uh, cauldron right here. We have two different cauldrons that go to the red world. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one of those extra red cauldrons over here. And then we can go grab the block. So basically we still have a loop that goes forward from blue to red to black. And so I can bring this cauldron back to blue up here and then carry the block with me back to here. Uh, right, no, I have to get back to blue now somehow. How do I do that? I did this a day or two ago and had it kind of figured out. I need to go in that, right, right, right. I need to go in this one so that I'll come back out there. Except for how am I going to get the block again? Um, right, here's what I can do. I can bring the block back to red. Then go back forward through this loop. And now I can pick up the block again. And now since the last cauldron that I went out of in the black world is up here, I am up here with the block. Which means I can do this again and bring this up to here. And so now I can bring the block back to the red world, drop it off briefly, hop through this cauldron so that when I return to black, I'll be returning to black up top. And now I just need to bring the key. And so I'll bring the key to black and we pop out right next to the exit and that's all we need to do. Yes, great. So that is triplet solved. And I was also able to solve adventure. So let's see if I remember how to do that. So in this puzzle, we have blue, we have red, and then this is going to link to green as well. So let me just kind of step through all the cauldrons. Here's green, where I'm going to need three keys to get to the exit. And then on the other side, blue here goes to black, which then goes to green. So we have two different loops, blue, red, green, and blue, black, green. And the black one does give us access to one key. So where are the other two keys going to come from? They are going to come from this room. So this is a key producing room, but in order to get to a key, we have to bring a cauldron down, which means effectively sacrificing a cauldron. And so the question, becomes kind of like how to do the timing of sacrificing the cauldrons. However, before we sacrifice any cauldrons, the first thing we need to do is go get the key out of black. So I'm going to drop off the box in green, since that's available. Green is available from both sides. Then I can go over into black and grab the box. And then I can use the box to get me up there and I can drop this down here. So this can be dropped down. I can hop over here and now we can get the first key uh, back to the exit, which is in green, which is right through here. All right, so there's one key spent. Great. Next thing I need to do is I think I need to go fetch the block again, which I can do just like this. Uh, so let's drop the uh, block back off in the green room so that I have access to it from anywhere. And then... And then... Is there a way to get this cauldron out now? Yeah, here's something I can do. Okay. So I can take the block back over here. And I don't need the kind of path to black anymore because I already got the key out of there. So now I have this extra cauldron that I can use somewhere. 
And where do I want to use it? I want to use it to go fetch a key. So, I will hop into here in order to produce a key. Bring the key forward through here and here into green. Spend it. And now I can hop back through here and I can just leave this cauldron behind. I don't need that cauldron anymore. I sacrificed that cauldron in order to get that key. And I still have a box. So if I have one more uh, cauldron that I can sacrifice, I'll be in good shape. And I can ac actually sacrifice this one because this one takes me to green, which takes me to the exit. So I can simply, I don't even have to sacrifice it. Bring this down here, grab the key in order to go to green to get to the exit. And I'm done. So, kind of straightforward, actually. <laughs> Let's see. I also found a bunch of paradoxes in these levels that I haven't taken a look at yet. Uh, I just located where they are. Um, I think there's one here. Uh, yeah, and I think this is maybe a normal, yeah, green chest kind of paradox. And so, let's see. All we have here is a green enchanted chest. And then here we have a cauldron. Which brings us to... A place where there's another chest and another cauldron. Remind me how I'm going to get myself caught in a loop here. Here is a chest producing room. Okay, great. So I can get two of these chests. And that's what I would need. So here is one chest. Sure, I can just bring it out here. And then I can hop in there and do that again. This is probably not the most efficient way to do it. But I don't even know what's inside this room, but it doesn't matter. If you have two copies of the same room, then you can paradox with an enchanted chest. So that's what I'm going to do. And so I want to put the enchanted chest into this room, whatever it may be. I see it's a copy of this room. And then I'm going to take one copy into the other. I'm going to hop into this chest. I'm going to hop into here and get the chest back out. And then I'm going to hop out, and that'll bring me to a paradox. Great. Okay, I've not taken a look at this room before. It's a paradox involving cauldrons. So we have magenta and we have green. Green has the exit. Magenta does not. Green has a chest that leads us to a blower and a key. All right. And what does magenta have? A chest. I see, which also has the blower and the key. And I need to move the blower kind of from one side. Because if I, if I were to hop down there and just move the blower and ride it back up to the right to get the key, then I would be trapped because I wouldn't be able to fall back down because the blower would be pushing against me. So I'm going to need a box so I can hop in again in order to move the blower back, I'm pretty sure. Um, so can I just take this box through? This is relatively easy to get back to, and so if I make a mistake, uh, I'm okay with it. So I'm going to bring this box. Let's go ahead and move this to the right. I'll bring this box up here. Now I'm up here and could fetch the key, but I can't get back right now unless I go and... Oh! <laughs> Oh, no, I can still get out of here. Okay, if I move this back over here, I can ride this back up to the exit. All right, and I might still want that. So let's see if I can drop that down here. Uh, yeah, and I want to take the key back, and I want to take that back. So let's uh, let's do that. Uh, hmm, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. That might be difficult to get back now. Uh, do I need it? I do still need it, I'm fairly certain, because I think I might need to get the blower out. So let me see if I can ride this up and then get out of here with it. Gosh darn it. Um, I guess I can do the same thing again, maybe? No, because I need that there in order to get back up now. Hmm. So I might be stuck. Am I stuck? I think I might be stuck. So if I hop in here, I can't even get down there to move the blower. Yeah, that blower is permanently stuck there now, and I don't have access to the keys. So yeah, I think I screwed that up. Let's imagine that I had the key in my hand. I can't bring them both back out, so bringing the chest back out actually wouldn't have made much sense anyway. So let's imagine I brought the key back out. I would now have a key, 
which I could use to unlock the exit. But in order to get to the exit, I either... There's only one block here, which does not seem like that is going to be enough to get me to the exit. So it feels like I need to get the blower out. And if I had a block, could I get the blower out? Hmm, how would I get the blower out? Let me think about this for a moment. Ah, if I brought a cauldron down, I bet you I could get the blower out. So I have a feeling I would need to do that. And so I would need to bring the blower out from the magenta room into the green room, I think. So I think I know what I need to do. Let me get back there. Okay, so I'm back in the paradox. And... Yeah, so I think I need to bring... I think I need to do this the opposite way. So basically, I want to do my work over in the magenta copy. And I don't think I want to bring the cauldron in yet. I think I need to get the key out first. And then I could do something with the cauldron. Hmm, but once I get the key out, hmm. Actually, yeah, before I do this, let's hop in here. So let's imagine I move the cauldron to the right. Let's imagine I brought the chest and I move the cauldron to the right. Sorry, I move the blower to the right. Yeah, I should bring a cauldron in rather than bringing the chest in. I think the chest is the wrong thing to do. Uh, let's try moving this back. Um, how good do I feel about that? I think I feel pretty good about it. All right. Yeah, even if I screw this up, I'll just do it again. So what I want to do, I'm going to be holding this. All right, so I've got my cauldron. So now I can get the key out simply by moving it to the green room. And now I can't get the cauldron out by moving it to the green room because I can't go down to the cauldron. So what I would need to do is I would need to move the uh, the blower, the fan. But if I hop down there and move the fan to the left, I could climb back out. And then once I did that... Um, how would that help me? I'm trying to get the blower. Hmm. I need to get the blower. Is this my only... Uh, no, there's still a box out there, too. So I could hop back into here in magenta after moving it. Yeah, this seems plausible. Okay, so let's try this. So I'm going to fall down here, move the blower to the left, use it to blow me back out, and I can still access the right side of the room from the magenta side. And so from here, I can simply take this back to the green room. Yeah. Oh, except for... I see. Now I understand why I need the block. Okay, now I understand why I need the block. Oh, right, and I can produce more keys. And... oh, boy. Uh, the block is back up there, so I need to bring the blower. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. If the blower's there, hmm. I can't leave the cauldron in here, but if I leave the blower there, I'm going to be screwed. So I can't leave the blower there and get out that way yet. Because if I do, I'll never be able to get back into the room. So, let's think about this a little bit more. I need another key. I could bring the blower into this room. But then I would be stuck, except I could use this to move the blower again. Okay, so that would work. Okay, so I think I can bring the blower into the green copy of the room. I can go and use it to go... Oh, except for... I didn't have a cauldron. And I don't have a way out. Uh, Alright, I think I can still do this. <laughs> this is complicated. We can hop through here and move it on the bottom. So I guess I want to move it over here briefly. And now, what do I need to bring into here? Do I need to bring the cauldron again? 
I think I do need to bring the cauldron, although that's scary, because then the cauldron will be in the rooms in both places. Um, but I don't see something else to do just yet. I have a feeling this is wrong, but I'm going to try it anyway. So if I bring the cauldron over here... Uh, right. I can move this back to the left-hand side. I have access to a key over there, which seems great. And I can bring the cauldron back out, which also seems great. Okay, so I feel like I've kind of, like, un... did an undo on something here. So now the question is... And I have a key over here that I can eventually use to get to the exit. Now I have a key over here that I could use to get me out. Um, I'm going to have to leave the cauldron here. Um, but if I leave the cauldron here and hop out this side, I will be stuck because there will be no way to get back in. So I can't leave the cauldron here. Unless the cauldron was also in this spot in green. So what if I did this? What if I hop over into green? Can I do this safely? <laughs> oh, this is so scary. Um, I'm going to go down into green. And I'm going to bring the cauldron down so that I can move the blower around. And now I can safely... Uh, blow that back up, which I'll be able to grab in a minute, and I want to take this with me, because on the green side I'll be able to move things around. Then I need to go leave this on the green side, because I can only exit with one object at a time. Alright, and so I have this back out here now, uh, which is super terrific, because it means I can finally grab the block that I'm going to need. So let's grab the block. Great. And I guess for now, should I just leave it here? Yeah, I'm not sure where I want to store that just yet. And what do I need to do now? I need to get out of green, and there's already a key out of green, but I also need to get the blower. And I need to pull the blower out from the green side, which means I needed the magenta side. Right, right, right. So I think... Where am I on the magenta side here? <laughs> I think I need to do the same thing now, which is basically I need to move the blower into the center. And then on the magenta side, I need to bring the cauldron down so that I'll be able to fetch the blower. And now on the green side, I can bring the cauldron back out. And I still have the cauldron down on the bottom of the magenta side to move it back around if I need to. Okay, so now I would like to go fetch my block if I can. Uh, but I'm also going to need this, and unfortunately my block is out there. So I left my block in a bad place. So I need to leave my block on the magenta side, uh, rather than on this side. Okay. So I think basically <laughs> I'm redoing what I just did, because I've done things in slightly the wrong order, I think. So I think I need this down here so that I can go fetch my block on the magenta side. Okay, so magenta side, we're going to go grab the block. And we're going to take the block to the green side. Great. And then we're going to move this out of the way. Um, yeah, and then we're going to bring this down on the magenta side. And on the green side, we're going to exit with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, this seems right. Um... Right, I want this and this, and I can store that briefly in magenta. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and store this in magenta. Uh, I can just hop through the cauldron to go grab that. Let's bring this out on the green side. Here we go, here we go. Okay, now I can go grab the block, which is right here. Yeah, there we go, this is the solution. And I can grab the key, and bring it up there. And finally, I can grab the blower, and bring it up to the top since I have the block. And we get to the end. Hooray! Okay, that that took a number of steps. I uh, got a little stuck in the middle of it, but then I managed to kind of save myself. So that's terrific. 
Um, I think before I forget about it, I do know where some other paradoxes are among these. Like, there's one uh, here and here and here, I think. Uh, but before I go do that, I would actually like to go back to Interlocked, I think. Where was Interlocked? It was like the last thing in the temple, I think. No. Oops, wrong button. Uh, it was the last thing in the ruins, wasn't it? Yeah. So there was a puzzle in here that I wasn't able to solve, and I think I know how to solve it now. Uh, so let's attempt to do so. I'm going to make two copies of this box. Usual paradox-inducing thingy. And I think this one just involves, like, physics and juggling. At least as far as I could tell, it looked like it was going to be a solution uh, when I played around with it off-camera. So we're going to put this chest inside here. Then we're going to take a copy of this chest inside here, jump into this chest, hop into the box in order to fetch the box and move it back out, and then try to exit through the green, but it's no longer in the same room. We get to a paradox. Great. Okay, so here's the paradox. Yeah, remember this room? I basically need two blocks up at the right. And I think I can do it just by juggling. Um, and so here is the idea. I have two blocks and I have this thing. And I think if I go bloop, 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 um, with the right frequency here, um, bloop, 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 uh, bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, almost. Yeah, not quite fast enough. But I think I got to a point where I could grab both blocks out of midair at the same time, and I think that's all I need to do. Uh, so let me just fool with it for a minute. Here we go. Oh, I was just behind that one. So close. Oh, darn it. I did it again. Okay, there. And there we go. Haha, -ha, Managed to get him. <laughs> Only took me like five tries. Uh, but once I saw that juggling, you could kind of get them together, it seemed like that that was going to be a plausible solution. Okay, so sure. Let's check out another one of the paradoxes that I found in here. Let me check my notes. We have a cloud paradox on the third room network. Yeah. So a cloud paradox is basically what happens when you uh, take a cauldron out of a color universe and then try to return to that universe when there's not a cauldron in that room. Um, yeah, so there's my enchanted cauldron. Oops. Uh, right. So I need this cauldron to be in a room that exists in both color universes, I think. And so there's this crazy fissure room over here. And on this side, what do we have? Okay, here is a room that I can get to exist on both sides. All right, so let me take this over to Red Universe and stuff this cauldron inside of it. All right, so that cauldron lives inside that chest right now. Um, and I actually want to be there. And now let's go back over to this universe. And now I can hop into this chest and take that cauldron out of it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So now this cauldron lives in a room that only exists in blue universe. And so now if I hop into this cauldron and try to go to red universe, uh, there is no cauldron in the red universe in the room that it expects. And so I end up in a cloud paradox. Great. Okay, so I haven't tried to do this at all, so let's see what we got. Hopefully there's going to be a key to get to the ruby. Uh, there is a key, and there is a box. And the box brings me to two rocks. Right, and rocks can be used for climbing in the cloud world, as you might recall. It's interesting that there's two here. Why would they give me two? I'm not sure. But in any case, recall that you can throw the blocks in the wall and yeah kind of like stick them around so i guess i would need a couple of like climbing steps here basically and so 
If I had this and... I guess I can bring the chest down and make a bunch more. Yeah, actually that seems like what I ought to do, right? Let's try it. So if I bring this down here, then I can bring a bunch more rocks down at this level. And so for example, I could make myself a little step right here. And I could make myself a step here. And maybe one more step would allow me to get back up there. Let's see, bloop, bloop. Let's try bloop. Yeah, I should be able to climb out with that. I might need one more. We'll grab one more just in case. To get the height to get back out to the exit over there. But yeah, this seems like a pretty straightforward room as far as I can tell. And so now I should just be able to jump up here and go wee. <laughs> Trust me, the noise was totally necessary and required. Yeah, okay, that's an easy way to get a ruby. Cool. And let's see, um, there's a cloud po paradox in the fifth one that's called flight as well. Let's try one more. Um, okay, so here is my enchanted cauldron that I will need to move to a room on the other side that exists on both sides. Uh, and here's a way to get something to exist on both sides. Uh, so I'm going to bring a copy of this over into this world, sure. Um, and then I'm going to put this cauldron in it. So on the red side, there is a cauldron uh, inside that crazy world. Where that crazy world is this chest, I suppose. And then... Oh, but it already exists on this side. Right. And so all I need to do is take this cauldron out of here. So now both cauldrons are in the blue world. So if I try to take the cauldron to the red world, I paradox. Yes. Great. So here we are in a cloud paradox. We have blocks for sticking in walls, presumably. And we have a key. This seems pretty straightforward for the first part. Uh, I can just take this in here, make as many rocks as I want to in order to be able to climb back out. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Controls, do what I want you to do. I might need one more. If I only need one, I might have done the wrong thing, actually. Uh, yeah, I do need another one. Um, and I probably need another one yet. Because I didn't stack these at kind of appropriate heights. Okay, zing. That should work, I think. So now I think I can climb out of here. Great, so I brought a key out. We lost the rock producing thing. Uh, which we might still need. We'll see. Um, looks like probably, yeah. What do we have over here? Oh, we have itself. Interesting. Okay. I could have brought one rock in. I'm unclear how I could bring the rock producing world in. And then I still need the key producing world as well. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, I've screwed this up, so I need to get back there. Okay, so back in this cloud paradox, what if I just take a single rock into the key room? Can I get to the key with just a single rock? I don't think I can. Because I can jump this high, but if I'm burdened by the key... Oh, I can probably do this. Throw the key up. There we go. That's the trick. Forgot about that. Okay, so now I have a rock producing room and a key producing room. Remind me what's going on here. And in here, this is a room that leads to itself, right? Yes, so let's bring a copy of it back out. So I have the green copy and the non-green copy. And so... I need to get a key producing room in here, definitely, in order to get multiple keys out. But I also need the rock producing room in order to be able to climb that right hand wall. And I have this. Um. 
which means I could potentially like bring it into its own room and like throw the chest around as well, but I don't see that helping me necessarily. Uh, unless I brought it into itself and just used a single rock along with the key producing room and put the single rock like right up in the wall over there. But then I wouldn't be able to jump up to it, I don't think. Okay, I don't see a way to do this right now, but what I do see is a way to do a normal paradox. <laughs> and so I think what I want to do is just see if you can get from a cloud paradox into a normal paradox. And so... Um, oh no, I can't do that, can I? Because I would be hopping in here, but this just goes to the same room. Right, I thought I could do a paradox from here, but I don't think I can, actually. Hmm. It just seems like I need both keys and rocks inside the exit room, and I don't see a way to do that. I definitely, absolutely, positively must need the keys, because how else am I going to get through there? That implies either bringing this key producing room into the exit room, in which case I don't have any rocks, or, oh, or possibly, here's an interesting idea. What if I, let's take a risk, oops. <laughs> what if I bring this chest into here and then go grab the rock producing chest and what? I could bring one key in. Yeah, that's still not going to help me because I can only bring one key in. What if I only need to bring one rock in? So what if I do this the other way around? Um, I need to go grab a rock in order to undo what I just did. Uh, but what if I put the green chest in the rock producing room? Zoop! Zip! Oh, I can't quite reach that. Uh, Alright, lower rock, please. Okay, uh, not that low. Uh, how about right... Oops, how about right there? Okay, I can't pick that rock up, and it just occurred to me that I don't need to. I could just go fetch a new rock. Because <laughs> nothing else has been lost as of yet. I'm just trying to get the green chest out. Alright, so I can do this. Throw that up there. And... That'll work. Sure. Okay. So the green chest is out. So what if I leave the green chest in the rock room? And then bring the key room in. Now I have a rock and unlimited keys. But I can't bring them in at once. Um... Yeah, how do I... I'd have to bring the keys in. I don't see how to do this. I just don't see it. Is there a way... Let's try one other thing, and if I lose this, this is fine, and I can come back to it again in a future episode. What if I just jump down here? Um, and then jump through here. And then... No, I would have wanted that in its own room. And I can't, like, you know, take advantage of this somehow. Uh, or throw... Oh, what happens if you pop out of the chest? Okay, this is something I have to try. And actually, I think I can still do it from here. What happens if I throw the green chest into a cloud wall? This is something I didn't think of. I might not need the rock. I might be able to use the green chest. So the idea is... Except for I need the green chest in itself, and I can't get the green chest in itself. All right, let me get back to here. I think I might know what to do. Okay, so back to this state. The question that I need to know the answer to is what happens if I... I'm going to grab an extra copy of this. I don't think I actually need it, just in case. So if I bring the green chest into itself and then I hop into the green chest 
Oops. <laughs> Multiple times, apparently. And then I throw the green chest somewhere, like, say, here. And then I hop out. Yes, I do hop out right there, which is an interesting location. All right. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like that was high enough for me to actually kind of take advantage of it. Uh, and I don't know that I can also get the green chest back out from there right now. Can I reach it from here? Maybe if I brought a rock in, I could go dislodge it again. Yeah, so I guess let me futz with whether or not I can get the green chest somewhere where I can hop out of it with keys, potentially. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... In case you missed that, because I have to work on the editing. I was here. And I jumped into the chest. And now the rock isn't there, and the chest fell down. And so it seems to me that I might be able to use that to my advantage. If, like, the rock were, like, way up here. And I... Hmm... Not exactly sure what I'm trying to do just yet. And then is there a way to jump into... Hmm. Because I can get this like up on a ledge like that by doing something like that. And then that goes and falls down. And if I were just to hop back out, I'd hop back out inside the chest. Whereas... Uh, if I jump through here and actually take the chest back out with itself, then I come back out standing on top of the rock where the chest was. Um, not sure that necessarily either of these really help me though. I wanna be inside the chest. I still don't have the key room here with me. But maybe I could just throw this around. Okay, so here's the other question I want to ask, which is if I throw this at its highest possible point, um, but let's go down through it first. Uh, let's go through it a couple of times in case I screw something up. Three times, sure, that sounds good. So if I throw this at its highest possible point, which is right there, and then hop out, yes, I can get up to this ledge. So if I were carrying the key chest, then I still wouldn't be done because um, the key chest, the keys are down low. So it allows me to get up here. If I were carrying that chest on the bottom, uh, that one I can do actually. So let's try this. So if I pop back out of here, up here with this, I could be carrying this chest, and that doesn't really help me, right? I don't see how that helps me. So I could get the key chest up there. But I don't have the green chest to use as leverage to try to get keys out. I wouldn't have the rock to use as leverage to try to get the keys out. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to think about this one off camera a bit more, because I am still not seeing how to do it. Yeah, because I think I, hmm, I, I'm just not sure. <laughs> All right, so that's probably a good place to end things for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more of this crazy game. For now, bye-bye.